Hello everyone, my name is uh, Clark Kent 434 and today guys, um, I'm glad to say that I'm uh, glad to see that the Titanfall DLC is finally out. Um, Expedition is out and we finally get to see it. It comes out today and not only does it bring, you know, three new maps um, which we have, you know, we get to play on and but it also brings in a whole new set of bugs um, that get patched and uh, it was announced that they are going to patch a bunch of uh, bugs and uh, in the next game update and so that's what I want to talk about is game update 3 and um, so we're, I'm going to try to go through all the some of the features they added and some of the um, bug fixes they did so First, for features, um, this is for all platforms. They've added custom name loadouts, so you can now name your loadouts for your pilots and titans. They also now have you can get two dedicated custom loadouts per game mode. Um, uh, if you you unlock them after playing that game mode for five and ten times, so if you play, you know, uh, attrition after playing that game for five times, you get a custom a dedicated loadout just for that and then you get another one after playing it 10 times but if you switch from attrition let's say to, to you know last time standing you'll have to redo it again so you can potentially have seven loadouts so pretty cool some other stuff they've improved uh, new features is last game summary improvements now it shows your scoreboard from the last round um, you can also filter challenges between most progressive mode um, between complete and almost complete which I think is good because I'd like to see my almost complete challenges uh, challenges also in the last game summary screen now show reward challenges and will give when highlighted so I think that is really, really cool um, also there's some new features to the custom private match settings which is still technically in beta the private match um, they've uh, include options for score limit time limit AI lethality, that's for how accurate the grunts and specters are. The AI types, they're the ones from drop from drop pods and drop ships. Your pilot health, how much pilot ammo you can have, how long does it take for your first Titan, um, the build time, how long it takes for a Titan to rebuild, um, the Titan shield capacity, very interesting. Mini map and the respawn delay. I thought that was all very cool. Um Something else they added is extra, extra look drift guard. Uh, look drift guard. If you don't know, is if you're standing still, sometimes your gun will slightly sway to the left to right. Um, that's look 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 drift guard is. Uh, you can turn it on low, uh, nor there's low, normal, and now there's a high setting, which is very cool. Uh, they've also added level stats, which um, or under personal stats, which it shows the stats per map and how many times you played each game mode and won each game type. I think that is totally amazing. I'm definitely going to be looking at my level stats and stuff. Uh, campaign campaign multiplayer now will actually have a little trophy um, for each faction and for every level you won. This is a huge thing. I've always wondered what maps I won before I actually completed all the maps and now it shows that up. I think that's very very cool. Uh, Regen challenges, we found um, that some of the regen challenges weren't available for the level 50, so they've kind of fixed that. Um, and they'll mark ones that are new. I think that's pretty cool to say, hey, this is a new challenge, you should do this. Um, that'll be easier to distinguish. Amp weapons now are e eager, easily distinguished on the ground. They're going to have an orange text. I've actually seen it already. They're, when you're laying on the ground, there'll be orange text opposed to regular weapons that are laying on the ground when you kill an opponent. Um, so you'll see amp weapons laying on the ground. They'll be kind of orange and they're very distinctive to pick up. Very, very cool. Um, scoreboard, we, they've added two new scoreboard icons, um, which indicated uh, dead players. Um, auto Titans are still alive. And um, so um, other players is icons to different who successfully evacuated during the epilogue, which I think is cool because you don't always know in the other team who totally evacuated if you're just looking at a scoreboard. Okay, so let's get some new features that are specifically to the, the consoles. Um, for PC, they've increased the frame rate uh, support up to 144 frame rates per second. 
Then there's a better, a better audio installer, which is much faster. I played on the PC, the audio installer takes forever. And they've helped with the scoreboard up and down uh, controls. Um, and there is a, um, on the Xbox One, there's a new chat icon. Now you can see uh, it shows up players um, that are not in game chat. Uh, the icon screen will show you know who's in party chat and who um, who is in game chat. And if you don't have a headset plugged in, um, it will also show that there is not a headset plugged in. So that's going to be really interesting. I'll see people who are in game chat who are not and all that. And I think that's really, really cool. Um, I did mention that they fixed kind of the master volume um, on the PC and the a limer, a lim, emitter limiter audio. Man, that's a tongue twister. So... I think they, the, the 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 one with people being party chat and not is probably a big one for for me. I've played on the Xbox, I've played on the PC, but on the Xbox it's kind of annoying. Uh, it's not so much on the PC to actually know who is you know in party or game chat. So now let's get to some game balances. Um, they did mention the match win loss credit will now be rewarded after the moment of victory or defeat. So if you just want to leave the match, you just go ahead and get it uh, before. Currently, uh, you do not get that, so I thought that was kind of cool that they add that back in. They've also changed the normal injection. When you normally inject, um, the normal inject means you're not doing nuclear. Um, the the damage area is actually quite large. They said it's a little bit bigger than normal, and it would kill people. And I've actually noticed this myself. So they they changed it, their effect, the visual, um, they. This brings in uh, effect in line with the ejection visuals uh, effects, and so they kind of changed it so that anticipating or, or baiting uh, Titan into ejection um, uh, attempt makes the execution attempt, but the size of the explosion made this too easy. So, um, so yeah, they didn't want to be. It, it got too large basically for a normal injection. I do apologize if there's sounds behind me. Um, Dylan is chewing on something right now. Um, he's directly behind me. I think it's his Kong. Uh, nuclear injections, they've changed. Now it does more damage to Titans. Previously, uh, uh, Alice Full Health could survive a close range nuclear injection. I did not know this. Um, so that means that Atlas could survive it. That means that Ogre definitely could. So given the, the the long tell you know tell you can see the, the the white light and everything, it's appropriate that they you know give it um, the, you know appropriate for it to decimate Titans within the blast radius. And I knew about this. I saw that they were going to change the nuclear ejection um, to be more against Titans. So also they've um, they have uh, some game balances when shooting. Um, Turrets and drop ships, drop ships that come in and drop off troops, um, grunts and specters, it will uh, help your build time. So you can uh, build your Titan or your uh, Titan core t uh, charge time, which I think is a huge plus because I've shot many of turrets and never knew it helped benefit. Um, some things they did tweak the dome. Uh, the dome, um, you can't knock Titans out of the dome with melee punches, which I've, I actually did, did that a few times. And there can't be splash damage um, anymore um, to Titans while they're in the dome. Um, also, Titans can't uh, be injured by their own dome. Uh, there's no longer um, uh, EMP effect when you go inside the dome. I guess that's enemy. Uh, they've also dis uh, disabled from Titans from dropping on e ejection ships. So I thought that was kind of interesting uh, because. Uh, you know, ships would e eject, and um, uh, ships would eject. Um, you know, when the ejection ship leaves at the very end after you defeat, uh, people will drop titans on it, and they won't. They block that now. Um, if you kill the team's MVP, the highest scoring, you get 25 extra points. That's kind of cool. And now there's capture, capture of flag assists uh, for carrying the flag. You know, if someone. If the flag carrier dies and you pick it up and you re and you carry it back, um, you can get uh, points for for it. Um, so that's something new that they've added in. So yeah, there there's tons of bug fixes. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go. Th I don't think I'm gonna go through them all. Uh, the a lot of them. Um, 
are just audio. There's little things with uh, crashes, uh, XP not being warded, private matches not working. Um, the biggest thing is probably the bandwidth. They've reduced the bandwidth so faster loading times. Um, but that's basically it, guys. And I'm really excited to see this. I can't wait to you know have this patch come out, which it comes out today. I'm gonna get on, get on some Titanfall and try it out. And um, I'll put the link to the, the patch uh, down below so you guys can read it. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you later. And if you like the video and or like any of this information, uh, like and subscribe and bye.